Welcome to the ECAM channel. This is John. Today I will talk about the historical developments of civic precedents between 1941 and the 2000s. This is part one of a two-part video. We will release part two on December 6. Before we dive into the history, it might be beneficial to talk about the definition of civic precedents. This is still something under debate, however, we present here the definition from a recent chemical review paper by Flashman and colleagues. Essentially, it states that civic capacitance is a differential capacitance that characterizes highly electrochemically reversible redox processes with no mass transfer limitations when tested over an extended time domain. In the electrochemical dictionary, its definition includes a brief history of how the definition evolves over time. In this video, we will elaborate a little bit on the history from the birth of civic capacitance to its development until the 2000s. This is by no means comprehensive, the purpose is to provide more context for those who are interested in this field. The first appearance of a term related to civic capacitance is civic capacity used by David Graham to describe current contributions not associated with the formation of the electrical double layer. In this case, the current came from ion adsorption on a mercury surface. This term was later used by Conway and co-workers to describe currents due to chemisorption like proton adsorption on platinum surfaces and other under potential deposition of metal ions. This phenomena may be termed as adsorption to the precedence. In the early 1960s, Conway and Gilead developed the theoretical conceptualization of adsorption to the precedence using Lambier and Frumkin as a terms. As you may see, the capacitance here takes the form of peaks, which agrees well with the second photogram for adsorption to the capacitance shown in the last slide. Note that while the paper I refer to here is from 1991, it's just a nicer presentation of the concept developed in the 60s. In 1971, Trasadi and Bazanka discovered that the same film of Lucinia showed highly symmetric and reversible second photograms in contrast to single crystal Lucinia. In a 1974 paper, they noted that Lucinia film electrodes behave as a very large capacitor capable of being charged and discharged reversibly without any modification in crystal structure or properties. Later, Conway explained the electrochemical behavior of Lucinia thin film by introducing the overlap of several distinguishable successive states of electrochemical adsorption. Whether this hypothesis is the complete explanation still needs more experimental evidence. However, civic capacitance has been closely tied to the highly reversible storage of ions in transition metal oxide since then. Between the 1980s and the 2000s, more materials that possess the capacitive storage of ions were discovered, including conductive polymers, burnside manganese oxide, vanadium oxide aerogels, and bronze titanium B. Civic capacitive materials for energy storage remains to be a vibrant field. For more recent developments, please refer to our upcoming video on December 6 or the chemical review article cited here. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.